Hello everybody, this is a short introduction to Jabref, it's a reference management system similar to Citavi. This is uh, already indicated in the presentation. So, Jabref, you can download it, Google it, and download it. Uh, it's an open source, it's available freely. I have this version of 2.10. So this is Jabref. So just create a new file and then save database kind of normal very normal uh, user friendly things which is similar to normal saving of any document. So you can save it Jabref test for example. There. Now, when I need to add a reference, a new reference, I just click on this new with text entry. So I have this different uh, categories from which I can add. It's a manual or article or book or conference paper or masterpiece or whatever. So I just select article, for example. Then I need to enter this. I can enter manually by selecting. All these fields required fields optional fields general i can enter the abstract also here the actual abstract of the paper or the article that is one way to manually enter each and everything which is a little extensive instead we can directly copy paste like we have seen in citavi we can directly copy paste for example i go to which color i take the same example what i've taken uh, for citavi so I say so here here we just go on and save the PDF first for our reference. So so and then We said instead of typing all these entries manually, we can copy the big text version. So, site big text, I get this. So, you can just copy paste, copy, copy, and here in big text source, paste this. V. I paste it and then here you can see it's automatically entered. The journal name, the year of publishing, name of the paper, title, authors, etc. So if you need abstract, you can just copy paste from the actual original paper. So this is more simple and here you can see it's automatically updated. The type is article, author name, title, year and journal. You can also, for example, if you go to this general tab, you can also attach the downloaded PDF. Here you can see new file link. So here you can attach this downloaded PDF. PDF, you can attach image and PPT, whatever. And then click OK. And here you can see a small Adobe Acrobat symbol. Yeah. So when you double click on this, the PDF, actual PDF file is open provided you uh, you did not change the location of the file which is linked here so this is in one particular folder the solar energy pdf is in a particular folder which i have linked it here so it should remain in the same folder and then if you just double click on it it just gets open so the advantage of this is now there is only one entry so when you have for example some 20 30 entries when you do your master thesis or non technical project, when you have more number of entries, you can, in an organized manner, just double click on this and refer it. At the same time, just by clicking on this number here, you can't see the difference because there is only one entry. But if you click on the number, you can just sort based on a number. If you click on the title, you can sort based on the title. If you click on the year, for example, you can sort it in the ascending order or in the increasing or decreasing order of the year. 
or if you want to sort it for example based on author like if you have a similar author same authors for four or five papers if you want to sort that you can just click on that it's the normal windows usage and you can also type in the owner if you want in all these fields optional fields you have this note and then here you have the owner you can just update it and then you can use this to have to save it and then that's it but the uh, as you can as you can see understand here in citavi you had a word microsoft word add-in so it was much more friendly for linking between word and citavi if you are writing your thesis in word and if, if not in latex then you have a citavi uh, add-in add-on for word so you can just use that it's much more user friendly much more easier so jabra is like this is more organized you can just add an entry add an article or book or conference paper and then use abstract you can use for cite citing and stuff so it's it's much more organized manner but for comparison i feel personally that citavi is much more uh, user friendly as far as this uh, our uh, obgu part is concerned you can also find this uh, software uh, citavi is installed in the rtl of our university uh, the citavi in all the systems citavi is installed so it's like you can work there also here also uh, in case if you want to use the same citavi you just can copy the file and use it there but other reference management softwares i don't think so you, you cannot install anything on your own in rtl in any of the systems so i think that's more Citavi is more uh, friendly, but nevertheless, uh, Jabref is again a similar reference management software. Similar to this Jabref and Citavi, uh, as indicated in the presentation, there are much more which you can compare it for yourself and then use the one which is more comfortable to you.